Now, with Kenya's general election only five days away, the country's independent electoral and boundaries commission is under great pressure to deliver a free, fair and credible election. The simulation of the electronic transmission of the election results went on smoothly and the electoral body says election officials nationwide are being sworn in in preparation for Tuesday's vote. Over the past years, IEBC has fought the perception that it does work in lockstep with the government of the day or may cave to the pressure to tilt the results in its favor. Speaking to Africa 54's Vincent Macquarie, Rosalind Nakombe, one of the seven commissioners of the IEBC, rejected that perception. I mean, if you look at everything that this commission has done, at least for the last six months, there is nothing that we have done as a commission under duress from anybody. And uh, I mean, whether you look at how we have procured the various material that we have done, or whether it's any of the decisions that we have taken, they are decisions that we have taken as a commission without any duress from anybody, whether they are political parties or whether it's, it's government. You know, it is a perception that is, that is here, and we've been working very hard as a commission to take away that perception, because the reality is that all of us wake up in the morning with only one goal of ensuring that we have a free and a fair and credible election that we deliver to the Kenyan people. And we do not take instructions from anybody. I mean, as the commission has come out on several occasions when we have perceived that somebody is speaking on our behalf and we tell them we have seven uh, commissioners here who can very well speak on their own. And we've asked nobody to speak on our behalf. So I think those are more perceptions rather than the practicality actually of how decisions are made by the independent uh, commission here. The main presidential candidates in Kenya's election are winding down their last-minute vote hunt. As the countdown begins, their rhetoric has gotten louder and the message is even more confusing. Joining us now live via Skype from Nairobi, Kenya, with the latest is uh, Africa 54's uh, Vincent Makori. Good evening, Vincent. Good evening, Esther. And uh, what more, Vincent, can you tell us about the last-minute campaign rounds? Well, uh, we can say it has reached a uh, fever pitch at this point. Uh, the main uh, presidential candidates have been crisscrossing the country. In fact, um, sometimes they're crisscrossing each other as they try to get uh, the last minute messages and, uh, uh, you know, try to hunt for the votes in certain areas where they feel that perhaps perhaps uh, they haven't uh, really, really secured that vote. And we have seen uh, presidential vote, uh, candidates are actually visiting the same places where the day before their opponent visited. And it tells you how desperate each side is because uh, both sides are seen to be uh, very close to each other in terms of the polling numbers that have come out. They indicate that uh, President uh, Kenyatta and the opposition candidate Raila Odinga uh, are actually neck to neck. Uh, that if the election happened today, it could actually go either way if you look at it uh, from another angle. But Vincent, uh, you know, it's neck to neck, as you say, but what issues have really stood out so far? You know, the thing is, uh, there hasn't been a major platform from uh, both sides. Uh, I mean, there's nobody who has gone out there and had um, a very clear program on what they are going to do about anything. Uh, but uh, there are some general things. For, for example, the president has uh, uh, done a lot to try and take credit for all the development projects that have been uh, implemented so far during his tenure. He has uh, mentioned certain things which you are not able to really qualify. For example, uh, an increase in uh, health clinics across the country, perhaps uh, provision of um, uh, certain services, including uh, title deeds to many many Kenyans. Uh, on the other side, of course, the opposition is saying uh, whatever has been achieved around this mm -hmm. time is really minimal if you compare to uh, what the Kenyans have been expecting since the last uh, four or five years. Uh -huh. But nobody really has a very clear plan, a clear platform. Uh -huh. Vincent, very quickly, how not much is being said about the other campaigns, especially the independent presidential candidates or even the Senate races, the MPs or even the county reps. What do you make of that? You see, the the major media houses here are not really paying attention to the independent candidates. In fact, you don't see any reporting on them. You don't even know where they are at this moment. 
And as for the senatorial, gubernatorial, uh, and even uh, the legislative uh, elections, it looks like they have also been relegated to the background. Of course, campaigns are going on in the uh, different constituencies, but they're not being given as much focus mm -hmm. as that of the presidential uh, race. And so that is, I think, to Kenyan, the most important at this point is the presidential race. Oh, Vincent, thank you very much. We'll catch up tomorrow. Uh, that's uh, Africa 54's Vincent Wakori reporting live via Skype from Nairobi, Kenya.